Hi, welcome to Paper Root Scrapbooking. I'm Nadine and today we are going to talk about free sketches. Everybody loves free. So I've done a couple of videos now about um, Alison Davis and her uh, sketch sketches for six by six paper pads class. And I thought I would jump on here today and talk about the free sketches in case you didn't get into the class and you don't want to buy the sketchbook. That's totally okay because she has this program running and it is a free sketch support program. So it's basically teaching you how to use sketches. Now, she has done, I think, about 20 of these. This is not the most recent one. This is sketch number 12. But you can go onto their website, and I'll link that down below, and you can download all of the free sketch support sketches. Now, once you've done that, I highly recommend that you go over to her blog and read the information because she does each sketch in five different ways and shows you how to use the sketch five different ways. And then check out her YouTube channel because she does a brief summary of all five of those layouts with each sketch. So I don't think the videos go all the way back to sketch number one. I think they start somewhere in the middle, but I do know that her blog does. So there is a ton of information there. And in my opinion, this is a free class because it comes with free sketches, free blog posts, which, which is basically the printed information that you would get from a class, and free videos. Now tell me that isn't a class. I think it is. So please go and check her out. She's pretty fantastic. The way she does her videos is very informative. So here is sketch number 12. And when I saw this sketch, I thought, branding strips because look at these little strips across here okay so when i think branding strips i think close to my heart because close to my heart does a beautiful job of adding branding strips to their layouts so i pulled this collection which i think i think it's the timber collection but i could have mixed it with an older collection as well now this Full collection is no longer available at Close to My Heart, but there are bits and pieces of timber that are available on there, so I will link that below. I think this sticker sheet might actually have been from the one before um, that was similar. I think it was called Jack, but I'm not 100% sure. So that unfortunately is not available, but definitely uh, keep your eyes on Etsy and Facebook Marketplace. You can also often, apparently I can't talk today, words are hard. You can often find older close to my heart collections on those uh, buy and sell sites. So there that is. This is the bare bones of the layout. So for to start, because my pictures were different sizes, this shows two five by three photos. And I wanted to use a four by six photo and two three by four photos. My uh, block was a bit larger. So I just wanted to get that all measured out and glued down so you didn't have to watch me fuss with it. So that's the bare bones of what I got down there. Now this is the inspiration point right here is these all these branding strips from off the papers. So it's just the, here's the information, uh, close to, let's timber, you get, you know, tells you what um, card stocks and stuff, but their branding strips are always so pretty. So I cut a bunch off and I just cut the snipped them in half and here we have it. So let's see what we can figure out. So I was thinking after I glued down my photo block that I wished I hadn't because I don't want to have to cut these down more. I just want to have them under my photo but live and learn, right? So here is the bottom strips that I wanted. So maybe we can start there. So I'll just start adhering them and we'll see how that goes. Now, if you 
have never checked out close to my heart you should they have super high quality paper um, it's not like some other um, you know sell at home sites that have kind of flimsier paper it's definitely got good quality papers they also sell card stocks lots of um, now the thing that I always go back to close to my heart for is their albums their albums and their page protectors are the highest quality and I feel like if that's where I'm gonna keep my memories I want it to be something that's gonna last so I I go back there for now not all my albums obviously are from close to my heart because I have been scrapbooking for a really long time but the ones I've bought in recent years have all been close to my heart and their page protectors are a cut above the rest let me tell you they are thick and sturdy and will hold everything okay so then on the layout these uh, corners are rounded and I see that I didn't do that so maybe I'll do that now um, they did sell a corner rounder but when I went to look on their site I could not find a link to it it did not it wasn't there so I'm not sure if it's just out of stock right now or if they're trying to change their design or what the deal is but it wasn't there so I can't link that below but I did I do have um, my micro tip scissors I like the non-stick ones because Sometimes I choose to cut stickers or sometimes I choose to cut things that have already got adhesive on them. So non-stick is, is my preferred brand. And then these little micro tip scissors, I, or tweezers, I haven't, I, I won't use them just yet, but I will use them when I'm adhering littler things. And I, they're my favorite. I've tried all kinds of different tweezers and um, those ones are my favorite. Okay, so see yeah this one says jack on it but it was in the same bag it's probably because I used all the papers from that same bag as the timber papers so I probably just mixed them together and the branding strips for most of the papers were already cut off from something else I must have done and so I don't even know which papers are which I couldn't, couldn't tell you like I don't know which one this plaid one is and they're not like other companies where the branding strip matches what's on the back side of it always it's it's um, usually something different and unique and sometimes they make like a smaller print of it so that you can use it in all different ways now I'm not measuring anything I'm just like sticking things down and hoping for the best I think that I can get really I don't know about anybody else but I can get really really hung up on all the little um, specifics you know um, and waste a lot of time of my scrapbooking time worrying about what order should it be in and what should each length be and let's measure this and I I'm trying to be less like that because I want to use my scrapbooking time for doing fun stuff, not measuring, not being ultra careful. Just want to have fun and create beautiful things. So I think this wood grain paper too didn't come from close to my heart because it's white on the back and close to my heart paper is double sided usually and it, it doesn't have a branding strip info on it either so it must have been a scrap of something that I tucked in from another project or I used it with a project with this collection it does go well though so I used it for my journaling too so after I get all of these down I'm going to add my stars so if you look Oh look, I have some more room at the top. Maybe I'll add, I have extra strips over here. Hang on. I, before I turned on the camera, I punched out a bunch of stars as well because those are included also in the, um, in the sketch. 
and I have a bunch of smaller scraps and what looks like might have been some cut, a, cut apart cards, but they're just patterned. But it's the same pattern on both sides, which makes me think it was a cut apart card. So there we have it. And then just need to add my stars on next. So as you can see in the sketch, we got at the end of our um, strips, we have like these cute little stars. So I'm going to add some stars. So I punched out some stars. I ran them through a Xyron, the ones that were small enough. And I'm just going to adhere them down in a way that looks pleasing to my eye. So the star punches I used were not from close to my heart either. They were from Creative Memories. Now, Creative Memories does not make my favorite kind of paper. Their paper I find to be too thin and flimsy and it does not make my heart sing. But um, the tools that they make are pretty stellar. So I definitely love their punches. Their punches that I have, like the stars and the hexagons and the hearts. Let's see if I can grab one. Circles, whatnot. They're super old. And they all still work perfectly. I have other brands of punches that are maybe less old than the close to my heart or the creative memories ones, and they are not the same quality. They over time um, lose their sharpness in some areas and leave like rough edges or whatever but the creative memories ones have never failed me so they really know what they're doing now that said the only punch I have from close to my heart is this corner rounder and it's never failed me either so I don't know what other cutting tools they make but I've never had to replace my scissors or my punch or my corner rounder and I also buy my um, triple track blades for my Fiskars trimmer from close to my heart as well. This one. They sell the blades for it. So it's nice to put an order in for that when I'm ordering albums and page protectors. I like to think of all of those things as like not the fun stuff, but like you need an album to put your, your layouts in. You need page protectors to put your layouts in. You need adhesive. You need, you know, you know how it goes. Now I might have to trim some of this, or do I? Does it matter? Yeah, it bugs me. So I'm just going to trim the edge off of there, and it doesn't matter if it's straight because it's going to be hiding under my star. Still not enough. I'm sorry if you can hear noise in the background. The neighbors are building, um, a, I don't know what you call it, like a patio, I guess, area in their backyard. And it's all stone. And so just as I decided to turn on the camera, the landscapers started like cutting the stone with the stone cutting saw, which is super duper loud. So I can hear it. I, I'm hoping you guys can. It's really annoying. Okay, so we got some, a black and white star here, punched out of a couple sheets of coordinating paper. Got another black and white here, and another black and white here, and then we have gray. What one of these. No, that one looks funny to me, so I'm not going to use that. Well, maybe I just need to embrace it sideways. Nope. I don't like it. How about some little ones? I'm going to put this red one up here instead. There we go. Gray. Another red. Oh, that one. 
got torn off in the siren, I guess. That's okay. It's still nice. What else do I have here? Black. This black one's good too. This one. This black one down here. And here we go. I don't like that one either. Hmm. Okay. And then I have these little arrow bits that I had left over from another project, but I thought I'll just put them on here because they're they kind of fit in this little space of cardstock on the top and bottom of my layout. So I was gonna put so because I have a white uh, border strip at the top, I wanted to put two black pieces and one white because I had um, three of each. Oops, no. And that, that way it's not, I bring that white bit down to the bottom where the white is at the top. So there we go. Here's my other one. Okay, both can go. Now, what else do I got here? I have some wood veneer stars. I'm not sure what brand these ones are. I know I did buy some wood veneer stars from close to my heart at one point, but I have no idea. I just put all my wood veneer in the same container. I don't keep track of where it's all from. Just wherever I feel like they're gonna look good. And this layout is from a trip that my son's family took to Great Wolf Lodge. I know they have them on, in the state. Oops, in the states as well, but this one's in Niagara, in Canada. And he, as they came in, he got to meet the girl wolf. Her name's Violet. I had to look it up because I've never been there. And then on the way out, this bear guy stopped him and said goodbye to him. He's quite fascinated by mascots, which is good. He's not scared of them. Because we all want to go to Disneyland someday. And then this is just him at the arcade. He just, like, loves animals. So, like, animal mascots are double the fun, I think, probably for him. He was just a little guy then. And then, what else do I have in here? Okay, so I have my title, which is going to be Meeting New Friends, but this is a acrylic piece from Close to My Heart. I forgot to check if those are still available, but I'll look, and if they are, I'll link them below. As, or you could go to your maker's website and check it out. If not, I will link my maker's website below. My maker has, happens to be my mom. So if you would support her small business, I would love that too. That's how we, how she gets to keep crafting with me. I love it. Okay. So, oops, it's a little crooked, isn't it? And that glue, that Scotch quick dry glue, that's what I always call it. I should probably look and find out what it's actually called. Is um, it actually dries clear, so I don't worry about it sticking out like that under the. Now this <laughs> is hilarious, but I found these little. I wanted like a tiny font that would kind of fit above me the friends thing but I wanted to write meeting new so it's going to be like a bit longer and I found these like western looking navy circles 
but I was worried they would get like lost in the background because the background paper is maybe not remembering that they're actually not gonna go on the background paper they're gonna go on the strips but that's okay so anyways I painstakingly stuck tiny foam to the back of each one I'm sure it will look lovely when I'm finished but sometimes I laugh at myself when I do things like that because nobody but us crafters are gonna appreciate the hard work that went into putting foam tape on these teeny tiny dots and I don't have teeny tiny dot foam tape I had to cut my own out of what I had which is fine I don't like to buy the dots I feel like I use them too fast so I always buy the tape like the strips of tape or fun foam or both I have both Use them for different things. I need to find another um, source of these thin ones though because I'm not even really sure where I got these. I think I got them out of crop. This thin foam tape and I took it out of the package so I have no idea like where it's from but I really like it for certain things. don't use it all the time but it's been good to me so I'll have to go looking for it. In the shops meeting new friends right a bear and a wolf Winnie the Pooh closest thing he's got to Disneyland cuz most of his life has been during pandemic times we were actually all supposed to go to Disney World at Christmas of 2020 and that of course didn't happen now I wanted to use this but I don't like that the arrow points off the page so instead I think I'm gonna use this piece because I can flip it and have the arrow pointing that way so these yes these are close to my heart as well the black acrylic shapes and they don't think this one's from the Disney set but they do have a theme park inspired set of acrylic shapes too if you're into that sort of thing since we're talking about Disney and then their little acrylic hearts I just these are awesome I really like these and you know what else I was gonna include and I kind of forgot is these stickers star stickers so let's see where else those can go them sprinkled in with the stars or do I want them with my like this one at each kind of start my make a little visual triangle out of it we can get there we go Yeah, I love the close to my heart acrylic shapes. I have gotten some of the exclusive ones like with kits and stuff too. And I adore them. I got some gray hearts at one point. I've used them all because I love that. And then I had some, I have some pink hearts as well and some yellow stars as well. And I just, I love the way they look on a page. And recently I did a class um, with another Close to My Heart consultant online and she put stickles on hers. It looked so cool. I don't have any stickles, any white stickles left or clear stickles or whatever. Now these are also Close to My Heart dots, black and white. 
those should still be on the site I got them fairly recently and we are just gonna put I think white yep I think I do a little sprinkle here one of each size and then I'm gonna sprinkle some at the bottom corner down here bring more of that white down and then some up here as well and that my friends is the sketch so here we go side by side changed the size of my photos so my strips and stuff are longer but everything else stayed pretty true to the sketch I added a little thing here I didn't put the banners along here because my photos went further to the side but I did put a little bit up here so stay tuned for detail shots and close-up shots of my layout at the end. If you want to know where to find these free sketches and Allison Davis's blog and videos, please check that show more button down below the video description to find the links. If you are looking for a close to my heart consultant here in Canada, please look down below and I will link my makers site there. If you have any questions or comments, I would love to hear from you, and it would be much appreciated if you could click that like button and give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos here at Paper Root Scrapbooking, please click the subscribe button and be sure to hit that notification bell so that you will know every time a new video goes up. Thanks so much for watching!